What's a ring-tailed lemur? Where can you find a tree that looks like it's growing upside down? And why do people here dance with their ancestors? There's only one way to find out, adventurers. So subscribe, grab your map, and welcome to our Kids' Guide to Madagascar. <laughs> Salama, adventurers. I'm Archie, and this here is Beans. Welcome to another country in our huge round-the-world trip. This time, we're heading to the truly magical island of Madagascar. <laughs> no, not the film, Beans. The real place. Imagine an island overflowing with incredible animals you won't find anywhere else on the earth. Dazzling beaches and a vibrant culture. From its lush rainforest to its spiky alien-like forests, Madagascar is a land of incredible surprises and a real-life treasure chest of nature. I hope you're ready to explore this amazing island, adventurers. So let's explore the big red island. So welcome to another country in our huge round-the-world trip. We've been to so many countries already, so make sure to check out the rest of our videos on YouTube and listen to our podcast on Spotify for all our latest world adventures. You can also join the World Adventurer Club over on Patreon, where you can get early access to content and free activity packs. Anyway, on with the adventure. So where is Madagascar? Madagascar is located in the Southern Hemisphere, in the Indian Ocean, just off the southeastern coast of Africa. Separated from mainland Africa by the Mozambique Channel, it's the world's fourth largest island and it's often called the eighth continent because of just how unique its plants and animals are. Madagascar is a place where evolution went a little wild, creating species found nowhere else. Madagascar has a population of over 31 million people and the national languages are Malagasy and French. To say hello, you say Salama. The capital city is Antananarivo, but everyone just usually calls it Tana for short. And when you're visiting, you'll be spending the Malagasy Ariari. Now let's take a look on the Madagascan flag. It features three colours, a vertical white band on the left and two horizontal bands, red on top and green on the bottom on the right. The white represents purity and the two horizontal bands, red representing sovereignty and the green meaning hope. Together, the colours reflect Madagascar's history, identity and social makeup. Well, Beans, here we are in Madagascar, the big red island. So cool due to its reddish hue all year long. What do you think? Can you spot any dancing lemurs yet? <laughs> While we get our safari gear ready, let's learn about the people of Madagascar. So what makes the Malagasy Malagasy? The people of Madagascar are called Malagasy and their culture is a fascinating mix of African and Asian influences, which makes sense because the island was settled by people from both continents thousands of years ago when it broke away from India and the African continent. They're known for being very welcoming and with a strong emphasis on family and respect for elders and ancestors. Now, one of the most fascinating traditions in Madagascar is called Fama di Hena, or the turning of the bones. Now, before you get scared, it's actually a really important and joyous celebration. It's a ceremony celebrated every five to seven years, where families bring the remains of their ancestors from their tombs, rewrap them in fresh silk shrouds, and then dance with them to live music. It might sound a bit unusual to us, but for the Malagasy people, it's a way to reconnect with their ancestors, show them respect, and keep their memory alive. They believe that ancestors are not gone forever, but continue to be part of the family and can influence the living. It's a huge party with lots of music, dancing and feasting. Everyone dresses up, tells stories about their ancestors and strengthens family bonds. It's a truly unique and beautiful way to celebrate life and family across the generations. Whoa, Beans, there are quite some moves you've got there. Are you connecting with your ancestors? Now when you're done with moving and grooving, it's the part you've been looking forward to. Let's count down Beans' top five lemurs to find in Madagascar. The ring-tailed lemur, the rock star of the lemur world, with its long black and white striped tail, is the easiest lemur to spot. These lemurs love the sun and often sit in what looks like a yoga pose, arms stretched out to warm their bellies. The Indri, the largest living lemur, standing almost as tall as a small child, Indris are famous for their haunting calls that echo across the forest. Their songs sound a bit like whale music in the trees. They can carry for miles. Sifaka. These lemurs are the dancers of Madagascar. 
On the ground, Zafarkas can't run very well, so instead they bounce sideways on two legs, arms outstretched, like they're doing a lemur disco. The Aye Aye. This one's got to be the strangest lemur of them all. The Aye Aye has giant eyes, bat-like ears, and a super long skinny finger. It taps on tree bark to find grubs hiding inside, then gnaws a hole and uses that spooky finger to hook them out. The Mouse Lemur the tiniest lemur and primate in the world. Some species of mouse lemur are small enough to sit in an egg cup. They have huge eyes for seeing at night and they're very quick little insect hunters. Well, I'm in the mood to do some more exploring after hearing about all those incredible animals and plants. Oh, you're having a rest with the lemurs, are you beans? Oh yeah, well I might have guessed. Anyway, let's take a deep dive into the Madagascan rainforest. Madagascar is like a giant theme park for nature lovers because over 90% of its wildlife and plants are found nowhere else in the world. First up, have you ever heard of a fossa? It looks a bit like a cat crossed with a mongoose, but it's actually Madagascar's largest predator. They're super good climbers and have amazing balance, which helps them hunt lemurs in the trees. (laughs) Don't worry, beans, they're too busy chasing lemurs to bother us. Now, here's one of Madagascar's most famous residents, the chameleon. Madagascar is the chameleon capital of the world, home to about half of all known chameleon species. Some are so tiny they can balance on your fingernail, like the brachycia chameleon, while others, like the Parsons chameleon, can be as big as your arm. Now, let's move on and talk about some of the most incredible plants you can see in Madagascar. Imagine a tree that looks like it's been planted upside down with its roots reaching high for the sky. That's a baobab tree. These giant ancient trees are amazing. They can store huge amounts of water in their trunks, which helps them to survive in dry climates. They're so big and majestic, they look like they belong in a fairy tale. And sometimes, lemurs even nap in their branches. Whew, it was getting pretty hot and sweaty in there, wasn't it, Beans? I'm glad to be out, I think. Let's do some more adventuring, shall we? Let's look at my top five things to do in Madagascar. (coughs) Avenue of the Baobabs. Let's start with one of the most iconic and jaw-dropping sights in Madagascar, the Avenue of the Baobabs. Imagine a dirt road lined on both sides by giant ancient baobab trees, their enormous trunks reaching up to the sky and their branches looking like roots. Next up, we head to Isolo National Park a place of incredible sandstone formations, deep canyons and hidden oases. It's like a natural playground for explorers. You can hike through the dramatic landscapes sacred to the Barra tribe, who bury their ancestors around its rocks. Nosy Bay. Let's hit the beaches of Nosy Bay, Madagascar's famous island paradise. Just off the northwest coast, Nosy Bay means big island, and it's famous for its turquoise waters, sandy bay beaches, lush rainforests. And the Sea Bay Mantadia National Park. Hold on to binoculars, beans. We're going deep into the rainforest of Andesiba Mantadia National Park, home to the largest lemurs on Earth, the Indri. You'll know when you're near them because they have an incredibly loud, haunting call that echoes through the forest. It sounds a bit like whales singing. Singi de Bemaraha National Park. Time for yet another national park. This time it's Singi de Bemaraha National Park. Singi means where one cannot walk barefoot in Malagasy. And you'll quickly see why. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is famous for its incredible limestone forest. Towering, razor-sharp limestone pinnacles. They look like grey needles reaching from the sky. Well, we've had quite the adventure in Madagascar, haven't we? So many unique animals, stunning natural wonders and an incredible rich and welcoming culture. The Malagasy people have such a strong connection to their ancestors and community. Plus, we even got to learn about the amazing Famadiana. Do you remember all that is, Beans? Well, sadly, that's all we've got time for today. And if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up below. And make sure to check out the rest of our videos on YouTube and listen to our podcast on Spotify for all our latest world adventures. You can also join the World Adventurer Club over on Patreon, where you can get early access to content and free activity packs. So we'll see you next time for another worldly adventure. Psst, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.